At gaya nga ng pinag-usapan namin, the NBA Finals is not yet over. That's after the Miami Heat took Game 5 over the Los Angeles Lakers to keep their heads above water. Here's our quick recap. Rondo looking for an opening. Rifles a pass to James. James gets off the three. Buhay pa! The Miami Heat took all the punches from the LA Lakers and still survived to extend their season 111-108 in a gut-wrenching Game 5. Jimmy Butler and LeBron James traded baskets in the final minute, but it was a miscommunication down the stretch for LA that cost them the game. Marquis Morris has it, throws it inside and throws it out of bounds! With 2.2 remaining. Off the miss, Markeith Morris threw a bad pass to Anthony Davis and the ball sailed out of bounds. Butler put up his second triple-double of the finals with 35 points, 12 rebounds and 11 assists. He also had 5 steals. We just played hard, um, got to what we wanted to get to on offense, shared the ball like we always do, and um, just kept with it. This is a game of runs, I think we withstood theirs. Duncan Robinson also came up huge for the desperate Heat, adding 26 points on the back of 7 4 13 from three point land. Eric Spolstra stuck with a seven man rotation, which proved effective to stave off elimination. On the other side, James had 40 on 15 4 21 shooting, along with 13 boards and seven assists. Davis, meanwhile, had 28 and 12 with three steals and three blocks. He suffered a right heel contusion in the first half and had been hobbling for the rest of the game. Will the Heat force a do-or-die or will the Lakers finally capture that 17th title? Let's find out in Game 6 on Monday. Okay guys, so the Heat live to fight another day. Uh, what can you say about this team again, Matt? Uh, that they, the, the fact that they've even stretched this series to, well, six games already and considering they've been pretty beat up. You know, Miami Heat's really surprised us ever since you can never underestimate their team chemistry, especially their defense. So I'm not actually surprised that they extended it because of their, because of Coach Eric Spolstra's coaching, and you know Jimmy Butler's the the heart and soul of the team. He never wants to lose. Okay. What about you, Isaac? Do you think that you know the the Heat has been proving to everybody that they still are capable, even if they are such a young team? They have because they're the fifth seed coming into the season. No, everybody was saying, oh, we're going to have Milwaukee in the finals. We're going to have Boston in the finals. And it just comes to show that this team has grit. This team, this team wants to prove that they can handle it. And at the same time, Coach Po, you got to give him credit. A lot of adjustments. He's been there, done that. And now he's trying to prove it again. People say, oh, he only won because he had the big three. But now he has his chance to prove that, hey, I can still win without the big three. Okay. Hey, Konaman Andre, our mm -hmm. newcomer, mm -hmm. with the Heat winning game number five, mm -hmm. do you think they will be able to do what LeBron did in the finals once upon a time, coming back from 3 1 to win the championship, or is this still the Lakers' championship? Well, to be honest, I do believe it's going to be the Miami Heat this time. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to be another LeBron, Chris Bosch, D Wade type of big three, because as you can see from like what Matt said, Miami Heat has one of the greatest team chemistries out there uh, from the bench players coming in to help contribute during the games. And to be honest, I don't think the chemistry is just being built in the game, but if you guys can look social media wise, we are thankful for that. We can see all their bonding. So I do believe that helped them. And kidding aside, I do believe this is the time for Miami to be the underdogs. Uh, these are This is gonna be the team that's going to be scary for the next season and these uh, this is a team that I believe the team should be looking out for and to find new ways on how to stop them. I agree with Andre because you know you could really see how the team Miami has been bonding, especially in the bubble. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a different experience, especially being in the bubble, being all together every single day. So I think that was a very big thing coming into the finals. I guess you guys know how important that is, de ba? Kaya yung may uh, band of brothers, ba? Mm -hmm. yes. Tawag yes. sa inyo. Yes. Sure. Okay. <laughs> well, guys, well, let's find out if they will indeed pull off that upset. And if you can't get enough of these signature slays and plays, access NBA.Smart via your subscription to Smart Signature for worry-free action-filled streaming anytime and anywhere. It's all access so you get the latest on all things NBA whenever you want.